Our theft cases in Colorado just keep climbing. Yeah, our state's still number one in the country for the rate of stolen vehicles. And now some lawmakers and prosecutors say stopping this problem is one of their top priorities. Since 2019, auto theft in the Denver metro area has increased 152%. Every county in the area, with the exception of Broomfield, has seen increased vehicle theft compared to last year, which at the time already broke records for the number of cars stolen. Prosecutors say a big reason why is that the penalties just aren't severe enough. New data showing that in more than 43% of the convictions in these cases, the defendants get probation or a deferred sentence. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, joining us now. Sean, you were there. Big meeting today. District attorneys from all over the state. And they are pushing for big changes to Colorado's auto theft statutes. 40% of auto thefts are linked to violent crimes and drug-related crimes, according to the Colorado District Attorney's Council. Yet many cases are misdemeanors, and the DAs aren't the only ones concerned. We want to give you all the support you need to be successful. Governor Polis went before the Colorado District Attorney's Council and promised to help prosecutors hold auto thieves accountable. The governor's budget proposal includes $12.5 million to fund deputy DAs dedicated to auto theft cases. And the fact that the governor for the state of Colorado is talking about helping locally funded prosecutors to address this serious problem is pretty extraordinary and much appreciated. Boulder County District Attorney Michael Doherty says auto theft cases are overwhelming many DA's offices that are funded primarily by county governments. The DA's blame lenient sentencing in part. A law passed last year made thefts of cars worth 2,000 or less a misdemeanor. The District Attorney's Council is pushing to make all auto thefts felonies regardless of the car's value. If somebody steals a 2022 Tesla, they can get charged with a high-level felony. But if they steal a 1995 or 2000 Honda Accord, it's going to be a misdemeanor. And who drives the 2000 Honda Accord? Somebody who has fewer means. 17th Judicial District Attorney Brian Mason says the law discriminates against poor people. He says it also makes it too easy for criminals to claim ignorance. Prosecutors have to prove a defendant knew the car was stolen. The DAs are pushing to change that to reasonably should have known. So that car thieves can't get off based on a flimsy excuse. We are filing more cases in the 18th than we've ever filed before for car theft. While the DA say 83% of auto theft cases result in convictions, most of the defendants receive probation or deferred sentence. And 18th Judicial District Attorney John Kellner says many of them go on to commit other crimes. One thing we consistently see with the folks that are stealing cars now is that they're using them to commit other crimes too. And not just, you know, possessing drugs, but going on to, let's say, use Use that car to commit an aggravated robbery, to bust down the front of a store and steal the ATM from the inside. While the DAs agree the law needs to change, Doherty says they are also committed to maintaining fairness. We're reacting in the moment to the crisis of the auto theft spike, but five or ten years from now we shouldn't have to change the law again because we adjusted too high or too far. And the DA Council does plan to carve out one misdemeanor exception for so-called joyride cases, where a car is returned within 24 hours with no damage and no other crime being committed. Doherty says the CBI also needs more resources to process stolen cars. While most are recovered damaged, very few thieves are apprehended. I expect bond reform will also come up this legislative session. D.A. Kellner says 60 percent of auto thieves released on PR bonds in his jurisdiction reoffended within nine months, while 20 percent of those who got cash bonds did. Such a Pretty striking. Yeah, complicated problem. Lawmakers are going to have yeah. a lot to study and a lot to do on this. Absolutely. Yeah, this is going to be a, a big priority down there at the Great. state house. Good. Good. Yeah. 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 Right. Glad to hear it. <laughs>